right, so you might want to know how to estimate how much material you need for your skirting, metal skirting, or any kind of skirting. And I'll show you how I do it. The first thing I want to do is I know that I have a, uh, a rectangle. I need to know these four corners. And I need to know the length. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go measure the corners. And then I'll show you the next step. All right. So we're going to put the top of the skirting up here. We want, don't want it dead up against. We want that inch and a half down so that we can have that uh, lip that we're going to fasten to right there. So we're going to say it all the way down here to four foot. We need this to the high point being four foot. Corner. Inch and a half, two inches down. Probably 41 inches. Okay, this. okay. 29, we're gonna go to 27 inches. Over here, 29 inches. Up here to the top is like 31 and a half. We'll go 29 inches. We'll have three inches of inch and a half here, two inches here, and then three inches down of uh, cover. So we're gonna have plenty. 29, 48, 27, 40, what did I say that was? 42? 42. You're looking at the trailer as if you're approaching from this direction, right? Here's the doorway. All right, now we need to know the width and the length. So, cut. Seventy-seven feet and a little less than sixteen foot. Okay. Now. I can't stretch them, so I gotta make them longer and cut them down. So, across here I wanna go with the higher side. So, divide this by three foot, which is the width of those of this material in metal. Divide that by B5, and then add a little bit, six. Six pieces, go with 29. All right. So six pieces, 29 inches tall. 29 inches long yeah the, the, the all right so i'm going to make my list up here six pieces 29 inches and then from here to here we'll go about and then you can change that because you might end up with some big drops in the in the middle of your house you need to measure those but let's say it's getting smaller from here to here let's go uh this is 77 feet 77 divided by three would be six five and 60 is 20 and three five would be 75 to be 26 pieces per side you can divide that by three and so I'm going to go with like 42 inch long, mm, 10 of them. So that would, 10 of them would be 30 feet. And that would be, we'll be cutting it down big time. 10 pieces, 42. So we still have four and minus 30. We still have 47 feet there. So we'll go. From there, we'll go, we know this is 27 over here and it's slowly getting smaller. We'll go 35. When we go over there and measure and make sure, but I'm pretty sure I can do uh, even 36. 36 will do 10 of them. 10 pieces, 36 inches. 
Okay, now we've got 10 pieces there and 10 pieces here for one side. And that makes us uh, equivalent of 60 feet because there's three foot each times 20. We still have 17 feet. So we're going to say 32 inches for 16 more pieces with a total of, we already have 10 here, 10 here. So 20 out of this leaves us with six pieces more. And we'll just call those six pieces 30 inches. Okay. Invariably, the, all four corners are different, but maybe you got a place where it's totally level and you got a, a way easier job than what we're talking about here. But now, we're starting over here. Uh, let's say sort of a high, high point. We're also going to need six pieces across here at the high side, 48. Six pieces, 48 inches. Okay. Now we're going to go 10 pieces at 48. So that's a total of 16 whenever I get ready. That gets us 30 feet. And then we can drop down, so if we're going down here, we can drop down to 36, uh, 38. And we'll go 10 more pieces, 38. So now we're 60 feet, we got six pieces left. Or actually, I always like having an extra. Uh, yeah, six pieces left, and we'll call those pieces 32. All right, and then whenever I uh, have this length here, I know this is times two because you have two sides. So this is 154. So we'll just call it, there are 10 foot lengths on the J channel on the bottom. So we'll call that uh, 150, we'll just call it 160. So that would be 16 pieces so far. And then we have 16 here and 16 here, that's 32. Let's just make it 40. So we're at 200 and say 10 feet. We need 21 pieces if they're 10 foot long of J channel. And we'll also need the same amount of, of the top front, which is, it's shaped like so, so, and so. All right. All right, 21 pieces like that. And then because I might want to put corners that they make for metal buildings, I'm going to put, uh, this will be one piece. So I need, and this will be another piece. So they're 10 foot long and you can get them longer. You can get them whatever size you want if you order it that way. But most of the time they're 10 foot long. So I need two pieces of corner, what they call rake and corner. Now, the only thing left are the screws to fasten everything, okay? And you can get your screws to match your color of whatever metal. In this case, it's going to be white. And you also need the nails, which I use a, like a landscaping nail. Um, so now, cost 15, 20 cents. You can get real expensive, but 15 cents a nail. It's quite a chunk of money. And we have 210 feet, which is divided by th every three foot be 70 nails. Let's just make it 80 nails. We'll have to get that at some other place like uh, Lowe's. And the screws were, some of the screws we'll be using is uh, inch and a half, two inch screws, which you, you know, you'd want to get a 
Now you can get a $48 box, you can get thousands of them, but you may not need that much. You can get a $20 box and get a few hundred. Uh, so anyway, when we're gonna, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna call uh, the supply house and tell them what I have, and you get to watch that. And this is what I need them to order and see if they can get it ready. You want to play the speaker? No. Pedro, this is Phil with Straight Arrow. I'm alive. It's a good day. <laughs> yeah, I hope everything's going good with you too, man. All right. I have a, a bunch of little pieces for a skirting job on a mobile home, which I know you don't really care. But um, here comes the pieces, and I need to get these ordered. They're all going to be 29 gauge, uh, panel lock plus. That's what that extra rib. And these are the links. Oh, oh and all Al white, Alamo white. It doesn't really matter, one of the whites. All right, here we go. Six pieces, 29 inches. 10 pieces, 42 inches. 10 pieces, 36 inches. Six pieces, 30 inches. Six pieces, 16 pieces, 48. 10 pieces, 38. Six pieces, uh, 32 inches long. All right, now I need 21 pieces of J-channel. Two pieces of rake and corner. The regular. And then I'm going to do the... Uh, what, what I call top front, but it is an uh, inch and a half down, inch out, three inches down with a hem on the bottom. I need 21. Of, yes, and white on the outside. One inch out. It could be three. Four. Yeah. And then the hem on the bottom, so somebody don't rub and cut themselves. Um, and I need 21 of those. And then maybe a bag of uh, inch and a half metal to wood screws. I think so. I'm going to use drywall screws on a lot of the stuff up underneath the trim. That's it. I just need to know what that's going to be, and you can call me back on that in a minute. All right, my man. Uh, hopefully, I can pick that up tomorrow. Okay. That's all right. Yes, sir. I want you to order it. Doesn't matter. Bright white will be fine. Cool. All right. Thank you, sir. Have a good day. All right. Bye. There you go. Now I've got to go pick up the the nails and uh, what was the other thing that was an inch and a half screws I already have. So. What are the tools they need for this? The, the tools need a screw gun, need a hammer. And a tape measure, pencil, and snips, and snips, maybe, and, and a four-foot level. 
but you could use a plumb bob in 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 that case uh, but we'll have a video later on uh, of us installing skirting jobs we already had some in the past but you'll get to see this one too at some point all right guys hopefully that helps